Three, two. Hello and welcome. Dave and Joan Maroney here, your Mother of Mercy Messengers. And you have joined us for a Divine Mercy Prayer Meeting and Holy Hour of Adoration for our nations. Today is Saturday, July 6th. Well, who welcome during this uh, holiday time, but we continue to meet and to pray for our country, for our families, our world. Um, uh, we just got to keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And Amen. we have been, uh, in light of the Eucharistic revival called for by the USCCB, praise be Jesus, um, and the, the Congress that will be held in Indianapolis, we've been focusing this novena on Eucharistic miracles and saints. Yesterday we talked about St. Faustina and also devotions. And today uh, we'll talk a little bit about miraculous things, but mainly focusing on the devotional part. And to help that. us with that today are the uh, wonderful brother and sister team, Greg and Sharon Amaya. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Welcome. And today's first Saturday, that, and yesterday was first Friday. And these are all connected to the Eucharist also, Eucharistic devotion. And Greg and Sharon are going to show us how, and uh, also on, on how their ministry through um, Mary, our Mother Foundation, can help you with your devotions for Good Friday, I mean Good Friday, First Friday and First Saturday. So without further ado, Dave, let's do that. Hail Mary, call our Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Don't Father, forget the unity prayer. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. And yes, we usually pray the unity prayer. Uh, this <laughs> unity prayer, for those of you that don't know, comes to us actually through the... Um, Flame of love. Flame of love. Flame of love approved through the church. And it's said that this prayer is a, a prayer of exorcism, that it, it uh, blinds Satan and has power over Satan. And so we will pray this so that he can stay away from all of us, all distractions, help our computers work well, and that all those that are seeking to join us will be free of distractions too. So together we pray. My, My adorable, adorable Jesus, Jesus. May, may our feet journey, journey together. together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together, may our glances profoundly penetrate each other, and may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the eternal father amen thank you Dottie. all right in memory of brother lauren <laughs> so again we welcome sharon and greg so uh turn it over to to you guys tell us what's in store for us today well joan i'm going to first be talking about the sacred heart of jesus devotion but it's actually under the category in the Eucharistic Miracle Exhibit of the Saints, Mystics, and the Eucharist of St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. And she was a visitation nun of France who lived uh, from 1647 to 1690. She was really graced with apparitions of our Lord Jesus Christ, who requested that she spread the devotion to his sacred heart. From early childhood, Margaret Mary just showed really an intense love for the Blessed Sacrament. She preferred prayer and silence to any childish amusements, and she just loved to be before the Blessed Sacrament. She was in love with Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. And after her first Holy Communion, at the age of nine, she secretly practiced severe mortifications, even at the age of nine. That, I found that amazing. And she became actually paralyzed for four years. And at the end of the four years, she made a promise to the Blessed Virgin Mary to consecrate herself to religious life. And after this, she was restricted, I mean, she was restored to good health. So uh, at the age of 24, she ended up entering the visitation convent. And she chose to suffer even in the convent, choosing what was most repugnant to her nature. But Jesus started appearing to her and frequently conversing with her. 
and confiding to her the mission to establish the devotion to his sacred heart. What a powerful mission she had, the love of the heart of Jesus. She had much opposition really in the convent who criticized her for her extraordinary occurrences. But in this message that Jesus asked for this devotion to his sacred heart, Jesus gives us 12 promises for all devoted to his sacred heart. And I'll be going over those in just a few minutes. But they promise, the promises actually are extraordinary grace, not only to the individual devoted to the Sacred Heart, but also for families of the individual and really much, much more. But at first, I wanted to talk a little bit about this devotion to the Sacred Heart, the love of the Sacred Heart, which is directly related to the love for the Eucharist. And we have seen in these last number of days, the Eucharistic miracles where the consecrated bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. And when studied, they show even scientific evidence of Jesus's heart present in the Eucharistic host, such as the findings in Buenos Aires that Greg talked about, Manciano, it showed the myocardium and the left ventricle and the heart of the heart, the vagus nerve of the heart, we saw the beating, pulsating heart, uh, the host changing into a beating, pulsating heart um, in Betania, Venezuela, as we just saw two days ago. We saw that video. And so we see the sacred heart, the love of Jesus, directly related to the Eucharist. Um, a Jesuit priest, uh, Henry Ramirez, who was a great apostle of this devotion to the sacred heart, wrote that it is the Eucharist that we truly find the heart of Jesus nearest to us. It is the Eucharist that he unites himself to us in the most intimate way, and we to him. And we know that if we receive him in a state of grace, we experience and can really sense his love when we receive him in Holy Communion. So going back to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque for a moment, she also was given by Jesus when, she, when Jesus appeared to her, he gave her the nine First Friday devotion. Very important to do in these times, I think. And I think you probably agree with me. And the purpose of the devotion as understood by Margaret Mary was to make reparation to the sacred heart of Jesus for all the insults and ingratitude shown to him, especially in the Eucharist. And to do this devotion is pretty simple. Um, but you have to be diligent and, and keep uh, going with the devotion because Jesus asked us to attend Holy Mass and to receive Holy Communion in a state of grace for nine first Fridays of nine months in a row. So that means making sure that, of course, that we've gone to confession and um, received Jesus in a state of grace. Also, uh, to receive Holy Communion with the intention of making reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus for all those who do not love him, those who wound him with their sinful lives, and for all the insults and ingratitude shown to Jesus, especially, as I said, in the Holy Eucharist. We're encouraged to make a holy hour in reparation to the Sacred Heart. And Jesus spoke you know, to his own apostles, saying, My soul is sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. And after finding his disciples asleep, Jesus said, so could you not watch with me for one hour? So this is um, actually Christ inspired Margaret Mary Alacoque uh, to establish the holy hour. She actually would lay prostrate with her face down for one hour from 11 o'clock p.m. to midnight on the eve of all the first Fridays of each month to share in the mortal sadness Jesus endured when abandoned by his apostles in his agony. And this is why many have chosen to do the holy hours because she was devoted to this holy hour devotion to the sacred heart. So when you complete the nine first Fridays of nine consecutive months, Jesus actually grants us this amazing grace. It's one of the 12 promises, actually the last promise that he gives. I promise you in the excessive mercy of my heart, that my all-powerful will grant to all those who receive Holy Communion on the first Fridays of nine consecutive months, the grace of final perseverance. They shall not die in my disgrace, nor without receiving their sacraments. My divine heart shall be their safe refuge in this last moment. 
What a powerful promise to know that you'll receive the sacraments before you die. You will not die without receiving those sacraments. That's so great. The other promises, I'm just going to read to you off this uh, brochure. I will give the first one being, I will give them all the graces necessary for their state in life. Jesus gives us all these promises. I will establish peace in their homes. I will comfort them in their trials. I will be their secure refuge during life and above all in death. We're on number five now, I will bestow abundant blessings upon all their undertakings. Number six, Sinners will find in my heart an infinite ocean of mercy. Number seven, lukewarm souls will become fervent. Number eight, fervent souls will rapidly grow in holiness and perfection. Number nine, I will bless every place in which an image of my heart is exposed and honored. That's why it's really so important to really place an image of the sacred heart in your home. Number 10, Jesus said, I will give to priests, the gift of touching the most hardened hearts. Number 11, Jesus said, those who shall promote this devotion will have their names written in my heart, never to be blotted out. And number 12, the one that I just read about the nine uh, first Fridays, that you will not die without your sacraments, nor in the Lord's disgrace. So Jesus so desires to be loved by all mankind. We know this, and each one of us, Individually, he, he wants us to love his sacred heart. And we also need to console his heart and to make reparation during these nine First Fridays. But when it's completed, we should continue to do them as our Lord is really offended in so many sins. And I know my own personal experience, um, just when I was in a parish, just to show the need for reparation, I think every parish probably needs to do reparation as we all individually do. Um, but I was in a parish for about a month and I went to Holy Communion for a couple Sundays. Uh, when I came back from receiving Holy Communion, I saw a half eaten host on the ground. So you know that there's some people who obviously don't really believe in the real presence. So you wouldn't see that, you know, you just wouldn't see that in a parish. We know, unfortunately, there's satanic masses, Jesus being desecrated and then the host. Um, Actually, a parish that I, I know of, um, a host was found in a hymnal that was bleeding. And actually, the priests gathered the entire parish together to make a holy hour of reparation for the sin committed against Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. So there's definitely a need. We know that people receive him in mortal sin as well. And so there's really a lot of need to do this these nine consecutive First Fridays of nine months in a row to do the devotion to the Sacred Heart, making reparation. I actually have a personal story that I just wanted to relay to. It happened actually shortly after I entered into the Catholic Church. I decided to go on a weekend retreat. It was my first retreat. And just prior to me going to the retreat, I was in adoration and I thought I heard the Lord say to me, I, re I will reveal myself to you there at the retreat. So I, I got to the retreat that evening on Friday night, and actually I was reading St. Maria Faustina's diary, not sure of the entry, uh, which number it was, but it actually was about an ant crawling on the ground in the middle of winter, and how the Lord was just saying to Faustina that um, his omnipotence, his the fact that he's the creator of all things, allows this little ant to be crawling on the ground in the middle of the winter. Uh, the next morning, I, you know, I slept that night, and then I woke up the next morning. I decided to go out for a walk outside on the grounds. They had beautiful grounds, and it had rained the night before, and the grass was actually wet. I walked along and came to the large bronze statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And directly in front of the statue, I noticed some animal footprints, and the animal footprints, um, they were wet animal, animal footprints, it said the word Jesus. They had made the word Jesus. And I could not even believe it. I just looked at my right and I saw a number of geese in the wet grass who had done this. And I was just totally taken, you know, totally amazed. <laughs> and later in the day, I, I decided to go back to the statue and I, I sat on a bench to read my Bible there by the statue. 
And as I opened up my Bible, out flew a holy card of the sacred heart of Jesus that actually never had seen before. I didn't know that I had. And I looked at the back of the card and I saw the 12 promises of the sacred heart of Jesus devotion. And I knew right away I was supposed to do the nine first Fridays. And I knew of a church right by my house. It was like five minutes away from my house. And it had a Friday evening mass and a holy hour of reparation right after the mass. So I started to do the devotion. And a couple of months before completing the ninth first Friday, the very last first Friday, I noticed that the last first Friday fell on my birthday. So it was such a gift and blessing from the Lord to complete that on my birthday. And uh, actually, a number of months later, I started the holy hour of reparation to the sacred heart of Jesus in my parish. Uh, we had the first Saturday devotion, but not the first Friday devotion. And I led this for about, I don't know how many years, probably nine to 10 years. And, and then a couple took it over, actually, and they are now doing the Holy Hour every Friday. Um, so this story actually happened to me about 23 years ago when I first entered the church. And I realized even yesterday was this first Friday and it was my birthday yesterday. And it's kind of like, you know, just made me think of the story again. So I encourage parishes to start a holy hour of reparation to the Sacred Heart. And uh, as I said, it's so much needed today, I think. And to establish this holy hour in your parish, you know, um, it's very simple. You can do it in the Adoration Chapel or in your parish. There are booklets out there that have the holy hour of reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus with the prayers in them. Or you can actually pray your own prayers, your own devotion, and you can sit in silence for a while and do a holy hour as you do some prayers or do some readings of scriptures. Um, there's not a set way to do it, but uh, we have two, this, I don't know if you can see it here, but this is just a group of prayers that we have in my own parish that I'm just kind of holding up right now. and. Um, you it's can only long. and you can if anybody's interested in getting these, I can certainly have them email that to you. But um, you can get in contact with us at our website again, and also one of those booklets. I think you had a picture of that the red one of the yeah, reparation. We'll put that too. one. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's a wonderful one. So um, that's. Really, I think the devotion is so big. I, I read in a pamphlet that somebody had said that for the last hundred popes, uh, that they had said that it was actually the strongest devotion of the church or the most recommended strongest devotion of the church. So we could have a devotion to the sacred heart, which is so totally linked, as I said, to the Holy Eucharist and to the love of Christ. Beautiful. Nice. Wow. So is that red book, do, are, do you guys carry that or that's an old uh, publication? It's hard to find. It is, yeah. Yeah. We don't carry it. Yeah. It's hard to find. And it's available on, on many, many it different is. websites. You, you can find it. Okay, good. Yes. If you just type in reparation, First Friday reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, you'll find it. Yeah, I think I really think that's the most popular one. Mm -hmm. And um, and then what was the, you held up a little bit what you you uh, use in your parish? All we could see was the picture. Does it have? It just has a number of prayers, uh, you know, um, silent reflection, the rosary, the Divine Mercy Chapel, of course, Fatima prayers. Um, there's consecration prayers, the Sacred Heart. Um, there's other prayers making direct reparation to certain um, sins. That's uh, something you put so together? Y'all put together? Or? This is something that I originally put together uh, like nine or 10 years ago, but actually the couple that took it over in my parish, I was traveling a lot with the pilgrimages and things, and I, I felt like it really needed to go to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've done a great job. So um, Tim Bailey, our, one of the parishioners, redid it and kept some of the prayers I had in and then put some other prayers in, did a really nice job job and I've been including this actually in my talks at the parishes and this with when I take the Eucharistic miracle exhibit because I think it's a really important um, Eucharistic miracle of the exhibit that people realize that 
We want to know about the real presence of Jesus. That's also another reason with this particular Eucharistic miracle to do reparation. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. And so the reparation that's usually at, now, uh, St. Margaret Mary, I know a lot of people will do like a Thursday night, um, a holy hour or, but you did it on Fridays, right? It was Fridays. Or I did it on Fridays, yes. But I had my own personal holy hour for a number of years from 11 o'clock to 12 midnight. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually didn't realize at the time that that was the time that St. Margaret Mary Alacoque did it. But it was just kind of led, you know, to sign up at that time in the very beginning. So wow. um, I signed up for that hour and then I found out later that, you know, she had done it at that same time. So and then I was led to start the Sacred Heart devotion but the holy hour at my parish okay and, <laughs> and then greg you were going to cover the uh is it six minutes did you say or do you want to wait till we come back yeah i can do if it well, i don't know how much time you have i was going to speak on a eucharistic miracle first that happened in fatima and then i was going to talk about about to hers what's especially being today first saturday okay the first saturday devotion so whatever what let's do the miracle you. and then we can talk about the devotion after prayer how's that okay that sounds good okay so yeah, I'm going to go over it. Says that. We'll go over that after. But I want to talk. There's actually a Eucharistic miracle happened there in Fatima. You all know the story, I'm sure, of Saint Saint Francisco and Lucia. And I want to give some quotes from an from the guardian angel that appeared to the children that's going to lead to the Eucharistic miracle. And I think I'm going over these prior minutes because I think they're really cool for everyone to hear. So before Our Lady came, the guardian angel of Portugal appeared three times so the first time he appeared he appeared they said whiter than snow in fact he said it was so clear it was like crystal like rays of sun and they just said he was beautiful he said he looked to be about 14 to 15 years old and he said to the children do not be afraid i am the angel of peace pray with me and the angel knelt down and prayed and I know a lot of you know this prayer. It's a, a prayer a lot of times we pray it during the, the adoration, consecration. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. And the angel told the children, he said, pray in this way because the hearts of Jesus and Mary are attentive to your prayers. And then the angel left. And they said, when the angel left, it's amazing because they said there was this supernatural atmosphere that was left there. And the children, they said, were even unaware of their own existence. So being in the presence of the angel caused us to have this kind of unawareness of, of even their own existence. So he told them to pray, right? So the second time, the angel comes again and the children are playing. And the angel appears. He says, What are you doing? You must pray. He said, the hearts of Jesus and Mary have merciful designs on you. You must constantly offer your prayers and sacrifices to God the Most High. The children asked a very good question. They said, well, how are we to make sacrifices to God? And the angel said, in every possible way, offer sacrifices to God in reparation for the sins by which he is offended and in supplication for the conversion of sinners. In this way, you will bring peace to your country. I am the guardian angel of Portugal. Above all, bear and accept with submission the sufferings God will send you. And the children said at that moment, the angel, like these lights came out from the angel, and it was like these rays of light like went cut right through their spirits. And they said when that happened, the children said they were infused with this knowledge of who God was, how much he loves us, how he wants us to love him, and also the value of sacrifice and how that can convert sinners. So that leads now to the Eucharistic miracle, third appearance of the angel. The angel comes this time, and he comes holding a chalice. In his left hand, looks like you're right, but it's my left hand. And the host is suspended in the air above it. And below the host 
there's dropping, these droplets of blood are falling from the host into the chalice. And then the angel prostrates to pray, he prostrates himself on the ground, face down, and the chalice and the host are left suspended in the air. So not just the host, but the chalice as well. Both are left suspended in the air. And the, and the children played with the angel three times. And I love this prayer. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended, and by the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. Then he gave, the angel gave, this is the other miracle within the miracle, right? The angel comes to the host, first of all. Now he's given the host to Lucia, the oldest one. He gives her the host. He didn't give the host to Jacinta and Francisco. He gives them the chalice with the blood in it. And he says, take and drink the body and blood of Christ. Terribly outraged by the ingratitude of men. Offer reparation for the offenses and console your God. And I thought that was so telling. Those were his last words, which tie into what Our Lady comes with later. Offer reparation, which my sister just spoke about with the first Friday. Offer reparation for the offenses that men give and to console your God. That's the last words they heard from the angel. And then he disappeared. So it's so amazing, right? Because angels cannot receive communion, but we can receive our Lord, body, blood, soul, and divinity each and every day. And it's such a blessing. You know, as Blessed Carlos said, he said, the Eucharist is my highway to heaven. And it's, it's our highway to heaven as well. So remember, when we receive our Lord, we become transformed, receive him in a state of grace, Slowly and surely, our Lord continues to transform us more and more and more. You know, we're all a work in progress, but that progress will, will move forward quickly as we continue to receive our Lord in a state of grace and go to Mass, you know, as often as we can. So I love this story here just because the angel coming first, preparing the children, and then how is he, what's his last visit? He giving the children communion. And I just thought that was so powerful, a beautiful miracle. And I said, we'll follow up after this, after the prayers. And I'll talk about the first Saturday devotion, how it came about, the promises that are attached to it as well. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Good job uh, to remind us of these devotions. And the Lord just keeps calling us back to back to mm -hmm. him. So let's go to him right now, who uh, is waiting mm -hmm. in the the uh, in the monstrance in Vilnius, Lithuania. Why do we go to Vilnius? There are a variety of adoration chapels that are live streamed that you can tune into, but we chose Vilnius being divine mercy orientated. And uh, also this is where the original painting of the divine mercy is on display. So it just seems <laughs> right home for us. As we pray for so, our country. Countries. And countries all over the world. Mm -hmm. So here we are in Jesus, we, we gaze upon you in the sanctuary and we profess our love for you, Jesus. We love you. We want to be with you. We want to be with you. We want to be with you, Lord Jesus. Give us the grace to be worthy disciples of Jesus the Nazarene. And we begin this time with the spiritual communion as we pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. My Jesus, I, I believe, believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
We love you, Jesus, Son of God, Son of Man. It chose your immaculate mother to be your mother and to be our mother, our heavenly mother, Queen of Heaven, Queen of Earth, Queen of the Rosary. And so we take this time now here in adoration in the presence of Jesus. And we pray the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray, pray for, for us who have recourse, recourse to, thee. to thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Saturday, July 6th, we will be praying the joyful mysteries. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. And for our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and, and ever, ever shall be, be world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Okay, Greg and Sharon. <laughs> Are we doing the joyful, correct? Yes, yes. <laughs> the first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Blessed Virgin Mary gives her fiat, her yes, to Jesus, being conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit in her womb. As she says, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to thy word. May we all give our yes, our fiat, with our lady to Jesus and to his real presence in the Holy Eucharist. Fruit of the mystery is humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail oh, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail oh, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell. hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery is a visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. Our Lady carries Jesus to Elizabeth, and she says, How is it that the mother of my God should come to me? We pray, Lord, that we may carry Christ to all people, and that all people recognize your presence within us. The fruit of the mystery is charity toward our neighbor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. And the third joyful mystery is the nativity, the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, they went to Bethlehem for the census every year, and Mary was ready to deliver. And there was no room at the end, so she had her baby in the stable. And the angels, uh, an angel went nearby to the shepherds and said to them, um, Peace be among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them uh, into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby laying in the manger. And the fruit is um, poverty in spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We just not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us to sin, now and our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us to sin, now and our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us to sin, now and our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us to sin, now and our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us to sin, now and our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us to sin, now and our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us to sin, now and our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of the God, pray for us to sin, now and now death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it now was in the beginning, is now. Now the beginning shall be forever. forever. Amen. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Dottie and Chrissy. That was beautiful. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of our Lord in the temple. O oh God, highly to be praised, the Blessed Virgin and Saint Joseph, 
presented your son, the Lord, to you in the temple. Grant to us the grace, we pray, to join our lives to his, as we offer to you that same Christ the Lord in the sacrifice of the mass, fruit of the mystery, obedience. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I think she responded, it, it just didn't come through real good. Okay. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Fifth joyful mystery. Finding the child Jesus in the temple. After three days, they found him in, a, in the temple. Sit in the midst of the other teachers listening to them and asking them questions. Fruit of the mystery, joy in fighting Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most mm. need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up of our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, shown to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech thee that while meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Holy Father's intentions for the month of July that all who are sick will receive proper treatment. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation. And having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Now we pray the litany of the saints, Marie and Fawn, do the first part, and Joan and I will follow up with the second part. The litany of the saints, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Marie, is your microphone on? <laughs> it's okay no wonder we can <laughs> i turned it on and then turned it off and forgot i didn't turn it back on okay i'm sorry lord have mercy on us christ have mercy on us christ have mercy on us lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Saint Michael. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. 
pray for us. St. Raphael, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for us. St. Peter, pray for us. St. Paul, pray for us. St. Andrew, pray for us. St. James, pray for us. St. John, pray for us. St. Thomas, pray for us. St. James, pray for us. St. Philip, pray for us. St. Bartholomew, pray for us. St. Matthew, pray for us. St. Simon, pray for us. St. Jude, pray for us. St. Matthias, pray for us. St. Barnabas, pray for us. St. Luke, pray for us. St. Mark, pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists, pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord, pray for us. All you holy innocents, pray for us. St. Stephen, pray for us. St. Lawrence, pray for us. St. Vincent, Pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. St. Jerome, pray for us. St. Martin, pray for us. St. Nicholas, pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors, pray for us. All you holy doctors, pray for us. St. Anthony, pray for us. St. Benedict, pray for us. St. Bernard, pray for us. St. Dominic, Pray for us. St. Francis. Pray for us. St. Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. St. Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. St. Agatha. Pray for us. St. Agnes. Pray for us. St. Cecilia. Pray for us. St. Anastasia, pray for us. St. Catherine, pray for us. St. Clare, pray for us. St. Elizabeth, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows, pray for us. All you holy saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people from all evil lord save your people from all sin lord save your people from your wrath lord save your people from a sudden and unprovided lord, death save your people from the snares of the devil lord save your people from anger hatred and all ill will lord save your people from the spirit of uncleanness lord save your people from lightning and tempest lord save your people from the scourge of earthquake lord save your people from plague famine and war lord save your people from everlasting death lord save your people and by the mystery of your holy incarnation lord save your people by your coming lord save your people by your birth lord save your people by your baptism and holy fasting lord save your people and by your cross and passion lord save your people by your death and burial Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. 
Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The prayer to St. Gertrude the Great, eternal Father, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Mass is said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those within my own home, and within my family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now we pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, and we, we do the Novena to the Divine Mercy each month from the 1st to the 9th, and uh, that Jesus asked St. Faustina to, to do beginning on Good Friday, but we do it also each month. And so today we are on the sixth day of the novena, and Helen will uh, lead us in the novena, and then Terry will do the opening prayers for the chaplet. Good day. Bring to me the meek and humble souls, and the souls of little children, and immerse them in my mercy. Most merciful Jesus, you yourself have said, learn from me for I am meek and humble of heart. Receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart all meek and humble souls and the souls of little children. These souls send all heaven into ecstasy and they are the heavenly father's favorites. They are a sweet smelling bouquet before the throne of God. God himself takes delight in their fragrance. These souls have a permanent abode in your most compassionate heart, O oh Jesus, and they unceasingly sing out a hymn of love and mercy. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the meek souls, upon humble souls, and upon little children who are enfolded in the abode, which is the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls bear the closest resemblance to your son. Their fragrance rises from the earth and reaches your very throne. Father of mercy and of all goodness, I beg you by the love you bear these souls and by the delight you take in them, bless the whole world that all souls together may sing out the praises of your mercy and in four endless ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
you expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable fathomable, divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he, uh, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and not of God. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we love you. We praise you. This moment, Jesus, we dedicate our life to you, our lives, all of us. We love you, Jesus. O oh, Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, open our hearts, our homes, and our land to the coming of Jesus, your divine Son. With him, 
Reign over us, O heavenly lady, so pure and so bright, with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you. Be our leader against the powers of evil set upon resting the world of souls, redeemed at such a great cost by the sufferings of your son and of yourself. In union with him from that same savior who loves us with infinite charity. We gather about you, O oh chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness that would make all the world an abyss of evil, without God and without your loving maternal care. We consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land to your most pure heart, O great queen, that the kingdom of your son, our redeemer and our God may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet mother, for we believe in your great love for us and we place in you our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives according to your desire. Reign over us then, O Virgin Immaculate, with your Son, Jesus Christ. May his divine heart in your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified among us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments in bringing peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us so that we may be a glory to the blessed Trinity who created, redeemed, and sanctifies us. May your valiant spouse, St. Joseph, with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then, when our work is over, come, holy immaculate mother, and as our victorious queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom where your son reigns forever as king. Amen. Thank you, Mira. Amen. Thank you, Mira. Tantum ego sacramentum venere morgenui Et anticum documentum, novo ceda ritui, preste fide supplementum, sensum defectui, genitori genitoque, Thou said you be Lazio, salus on a virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abutroque, comparsi laudatio. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Mary, you're always so sweet. All right, everybody. Thank you all for joining us again and praying with us and praying together. 
praying for our country. I like to say the divine mercy way, whatever native land you are from. That's why we do this. And we have our guests, uh, Greg and Sharon Amaya from Mary Our Mother Foundation. Mm -hmm. And if you joined us a little late, uh, I encourage you to go back and watch the video. Sharon did a beautiful job of talking about uh, St. Margaret Mary Alaco. Amen. I never knew that she was paralyzed for four years. I never knew. That. <laughs> and uh, she too, as St. Faustina, you know, had a, a great devotion to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament as a young child. You know, they have something in common. I've shared this before, but um, their spiritual directors both died on the same day. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, on February 15th, St. Claude Colombier. Uh, yes. was her spiritual director and he passed away on February 15th and uh, now blessed father Sapochko, uh Michael Sapochko. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it makes sense, right? I mean, um, it's the same heart. Um, right. Yeah, we've heard over the years some, well, we don't need divine mercy. We have the sacred heart devotion. And all. It's, it, it's, it's the same heart. <laughs> it's the same heart. It's a, and I think Father George Kitsiki would say that um, he, he was a great um, advocate for divine mercy and writer and helped translate the diary too. He said that the sacred heart, Jesus wanted us to show love to him, right? His heart was burning for right. our love and divine mercy was his love being poured out upon us uh th through his mercy so it's it's a two-way street the two of them are yeah. <laughs> are very beautiful and then greg reminded us about the eucharistic miracles that took place in fatima with the the angel of uh, peace the angel of portugal bringing the children the, the precious blood and and then the eucharist and um so very powerful that that part of the story you're right we, we forget about we're all fixated on our lady coming to them um and uh, the miracle of the sun but really I, it was the year before right that uh and mm -hmm. they never told the children did they never told anybody about the angel right until i'm later. not sure on that joan uh specifically they had to have told someone because the story's out so yeah well eventually they did yeah it's eventually kind of, but not initially maybe yeah um i mean they didn't even know right they didn't tell their parents about our lady until kind of after it happened right so mm -hmm. but as you said that they were infused they got infused knowledge right yes. of, uh, yeah of, you know, for, for children <laughs> and uh, that's what i need a little of yeah <laughs> <laughs> i just Her. want to say you know we were blessed to have a little bit of time in adoration uh, this morning, and it was a big, you know, huge monstrance and a big host. And I just, I just imagined blood coming out of it, you know. It just, uh, I could, out. I could see it with my mind's yeah. eye, you know, yeah. just in in my imagination. And it, and it, it, this series on the Eucharist really has has brought me to a deeper level of of uh, understanding and devotion. You know, the reality. Always... Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the reality of it really being Christ. So with that, Greg um, was going to follow up now with um, the the call. Sharon, Sharon did also explain the beautiful devotions for First Friday that the Lord asked, the Sacred Heart asked, and the promises affiliated with that. And then also we have the first Saturdays, the five first Saturdays. So Greg, we'll turn it over to you to explain what that is all about. Yeah, you know, we have the five first Saturdays because the hearts are united, right? You're talking about the love of God. I mean, Our Lady is filled, right, with the love of God, the fire of his love. So their hearts are so united in everything they do. And so it's so, so fitting that the devotions, right, come back to back, first Friday and first Saturday. And on the first Saturday, we have such a great opportunity to make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We have a great opportunity through this devotion to pray for the conversion not only for ourselves, but also for the world and all poor sinners, especially those who don't know about the love of God. We have the opportunity to pray for peace, which is how much we need that in the world today, right? Peace. So through this devotion, we pray for peace. Our Lady asks us to pray for that as well. And also we pray for Our Lady's intentions. So I want to talk a little bit about how this came about, the um, promises that are attached to it, and what you have to do to receive those promises. So. Our Lady actually appeared six times from May 13th to October 
October 13th. And on the third visit, July 13th, Our Lady showed the children a vision of hell. You can imagine how shocking that's supposed to be for anybody, especially for young children. And she said, Our Lady said, you have seen hell where the souls of poor sinners go. To save them, God wishes to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. If what I say to you is done, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. I shall come to ask for the communion of reparation on the first Saturdays. So this was said on July 13th, 1917. Eight years later, Our Lady came to fulfill that communion of reparation on the first Saturdays. She promised that eight years later, on December 10th, 1925, Our Lady appears with the child Jesus, may you show that photo there, of child Jesus to Sister Lucia in the convent cell. And Our Lady says to her, have compassion on the heart of your most holy mother, covered with thorns with which ungrateful men pierce it at every moment. And there is no one to make an act of reparation to remove them. Greg, which, uh, think, sorry, Greg, which ahead. picture was that that you wanted us to put up? Picture with Jesus where he's on the cross. Is the yes. last one I sent you. Yeah, yeah. And that's oh. where, that was the last apparition of, of our Lord, our Lady, to Sister Lucia, our Lady came. And showing, as I said, how they're impacted, how they're affected. And we can either use like La Salette, or right, Lady La Salette, the pincers, right, to remove the thorns, which is what we're doing when we pray the first Saturday devotions. Or with our sins, we take the hammer, right? We're nailing it in. So it's one or the other. We're always doing one or the other. So Our Lady said to her during this apparition, she said, she holds out, can you imagine this? She holds out her heart, which is surrounded by thorns. If you can envision that. And she says to her, again, Sister Lucia, see my daughter, my heart encircled by thorns with which ungrateful men pierce it at every moment by their blasphemies and ingratitude. Do you at least strive to console me? Tell them that I promise to assist at the hour of death with the graces necessary for salvation. All those who in order to make reparation to me on the first Saturday, which was today, of five successive months, go to confession, receive Holy Communion, save save five decades of the rosary, and keep me company for a quarter of an hour, meditating on the 15 mysteries of the rosary. So again, to summarize, how do we fulfill Our Lady's request? We go to confession. If we can't do it on that particular Saturday, like today, you do eight days before or eight days after. We receive Holy Communion in a state of grace. We pray five decades of the rosary. And at the end, Our Lady, remember in Fatima here, she said after the glory be, that today, oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. And then the last ones, we pray the five decades of the rosary, and then we meditate for 15 minutes or more, one of the mysteries of the rosary. Now, one of the people I've asked, you know, what do we do if we can't make it to Mass? Or maybe you're sick or something, something happens, you can't make it. If you get permission from a priest, you can go to follow. If you have a just cause, a just reason you can't, you know, make it to Mass, you can get permission from the priest and go the following Sunday and apply it like that. So that's another condition, Our Lady. You know, our Lord always makes it easy, right? He provides avenues to make sure we can fulfill it. So the important thing in all this is to do it with all of these, to do them all with the intention, receive communion, do them all with the intention of consoling and making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for our sins and the sins and for the blasphemies and ingratitude of all unrepentant sinners and for peace in the world. We need peace, right? Peace in our families, peace in the church, 
peace within our own heart, peace within the world. So we can, we, we pray for all, all these intentions when we go receive communion and we pray the rosary and so on. So it's interesting, you know, why first Saturdays? Why five first Saturdays? And this is actually, Joan, was the image here when she said here, you asked me when, with Jesus on the cross, with the blood coming down, it says grace is first. You know, why not six? Why not seven? This is what our Lord said that we're committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The first is blasphemies against her Immaculate Conception. The second, blasphemies and denying her perpetual virginity. The third one, blasphemies and a denial against the divine maternity of God. And also for those refusing to recognize her as the mother of men. Next one, fourth one, blasphemies of those who publicly try to instill in children indifference, scorn, or even hatred toward her, toward her immaculate heart. And the last one, offenses of those who reject and dishonor her holy images. So this is all we, this is what we pray. These are the intentions we pray for when we go to mass and receive communion, we pray the rosary. There's nothing really out of the ordinary we have to, to do to fulfill this devotion that she's asking us. We go to mass on Saturday, we pray, we go to confession, receive our Lord in a state of grace. It's really very simple. And there's nothing exceptional a priest has to do either. So it's really on us, right, to, to just go and act, do what Our Lady asks us to do. So I see it kind of as a, as a monthly tune-up, right? It's a good way to kind of keep yourself spiritually charged. It also shows the love we have for our Lord and for Our Lady. So Our Lady, like, gives, she's given us a solution for peace, right? I think of Rwanda, and, right, Our Lady came 10 years before the genocide in Kibeho, and she told people, she could see the unforgiveness in their hearts, and she told people that they needed to forgive. If you don't forgive, there's going to be bloodshed, right? There's going to be a, a, a revolution. There's going to be a war. There's going to be you know, genocide, which is what happened, because people didn't listen. And we're really in the same boat today. People are not listening. So our Lord is pleading for us. You know, We have this unpeace in our world. We have unpeace in our hearts, our families. What's the solution? She gives it to us. How do we make sure we die in a state of grace? She gives us the necessary graces at the time of death, right? To go to first Saturday devotions. So she spells it all out for us, just like she did in Rwanda. And it's the same thing. And I know our Lord's crying because, you know, people, we need to just respond. We just need more people praying. As my sister said, we're both blessed because I think in her church as well and my church, we both have first Friday and first Saturday devotion. And as she said, the first Friday devotion, you actually get graces from promoting it. And I'm sure you do it the first Saturday. Our Lord and our Lady are going to give you graces if you're the one that's going out there and you're promoting these devotions. So it's a great opportunity. And as I said, we're very blessed to have these devotions. And we can make a difference in the world. We can help to bring peace, help to bring conversion, pray for our Lady's intentions, and you know, show the love we have for our Lord and our Lady by doing these devotions. We have this... Brochure I was going to show, Joan, we actually did this uh, brochure on, on the first Friday, first Saturday devotions right here. And you can see it there. We also, you can, we're going to be able to our users of miracles brochures. You can get them, uh, 100 of them for $25 for, so they're very inexpensive, but they have the devotions in here on how to, how to fulfill the devotions and the promises that you need the promises that are attached to each of them. This is first Friday and first Saturday. One, they're they're in one packet. So we had an inspiration to do this because there's a lot of information out there, but this is all concise. All, it's in one brochure. And, and uh, it's a very simple process to follow. And I think it's very clear and concise. So anyway, another way to promote it. So my sister and I, that's all we're 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 just trying to promote our Lord and our lady. And You're doing a good out. job. Yeah. You guys, y'all, awesome. we're, we're so blessed to have you guys 
uh, present, you know, y'all do such a good job explaining and, and, and telling about all these, these matters. We're, so, we're really blessed to have you share with us. And Jones has Thanks more to say, but God. I, I really God, God, yes. by the grace of God, uh, I'm going to say real quick, I know Joan has more to say. We've got a little storm coming upon us and our, our internet uh, is kind of going in and out. So if we, if we go off line, then, then, uh, uh, fawn, I think we'll, we'll be able to, uh, to close the mm -hmm. meeting, you know, but so don't worry, we'll be okay. But, uh, All anyway, right, then let me just make just, and we'll open it up to the gallery in a second, but tomorrow, um, are both of you going to be here or just Sharon or I, I, Oh, tomorrow. Both of us. Oh. Well, everybody, this is our last day for you. I know I'm going to hate to see you go. Um, a little reparation for you all. <laughs> so, but tomorrow's fascinating topic. Tell everybody what you're going to be talking about. Well, we're going to be talking about a couple uh, great saints. And uh, well, actually, one of them is a servant of God, Martha Robb, and then the other one, Blessed Alexandrina de la Costa both living on the Eucharist alone and no no water. So that'll be interesting stories for both of those. And if we have time, I'd like to um, share two, maybe Eucharistic miracle involving nature. Uh, so we can include that too. And whatever else comes up. <laughs> Awesome. Maybe talk about generation a little bit, or, you know, we'll see, we see how much time we have. <laughs> I know so okay. much to share. This is awesome. You know, I was thinking about it today and that uh, where they say man does not live by bread alone, but there are some people that have. <laughs> well, it's, it's that's because right it's bread. more than bread. It's not just bread. <laughs> no, it's, that's right. It's the right kind of bread. All right. So let's uh, go and open it up as long as we can. I'm looking it's thundering out there. Um, and we're kind of on the top of a hill, so we get hit by lightning around here. It's not bad. It's not bad. Wow. It, it's so, you know, don't don't worry. But yeah, we pray just many, a little rainstorm. Many That's had it. put in that barrel is barreling towards uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. But oh. we, we uh -oh. thought earlier, yeah, on the Gulf Coast, but uh, today it had been downgraded to a tropical storm. When it came across the Yucatan, it just it just kind of went poof. All of all of the rain oh, just, wow. just it's wow. built up Praise a little bit God. more now since it's in the Gulf, but. Uh, it's it's not. They were really concerned. It was such a strong hurricane coming across oh. the Caribbean, but then it's really diminished. So we've been praise praying. God. We've yeah. been praying. Yeah. We'll now, it doesn't mean you yeah, take it lightly or anything. And if anybody in Corpus Christi, it's kind of headed straight towards Corpus Christi. So those oh, oh, storms are strong in Texas. I remember. Yeah. Well, across the Caribbean, especially. We lived in Puerto Rico for eight years. So. Oh, I never knew that. Muy bien. Oh, yeah. Wow. Was, we like... had hurricanes coming our way. So. Yeah. It's a way of life there. Um, okay, so I'll open it up to you, dear friends. Anybody with a question or a comment, particularly? Uh, Michael, are you raising your hand? Yeah, I, I, I got a question. I'm not sure I heard it. When do we pray the reparation prayer? Did he say it? The well, angels' the, reparation prayer. Well, on first Fridays, we'll pray, pray it on first Fridays. You can pray at any time. I know in our parish, you do it at three o'clock hour, uh, but you can pray at any time that you would like to, to do the reparation. The Sacred Heart of Jesus really is just receiving communion in a state of grace and offering your communion and reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And then the holy hour, hour is encouraged. It's not, you know, uh, mandatory type of thing, but it's, you know, it's very, very, I think, efficacious for our souls and the souls of others and making reparation. And for, especially if you do it in your own parish, just for your own parish, you know. So okay, I, I had understood that uh, the reparation prayer is prayed right after communion and you say it three times right after communion and you say it three times that's awesome yeah, yeah. thank you what what was that a specific request or is that just kind of like a a uh, tradition we had, uh, during the fullness of truth one of the priests was talking about the uh apparition of uh, our lady and the angels and uh, he said that the angel came six times, the first three times. He did not say anything. He just appeared to the children. 
and the last three times uh, he spoke to them, talked to them about the prayers. And the last uh, prayer was the uh, reparation prayer. And he's the one that told us that we need to pray it right after communion and say it three times. That, that, yeah. that may be like a customary thing that's just <laughs> kind of uh, come about, you know, kind of like yeah. those opening, the opening prayers for the chaplet you know weren't part of the, of the of the chaplet when jesus gave it to her but it's become customary to do those prayers mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's right a, a beautiful time to, to uh why don't wow. we um say that reparation prayer just so people know what we're talking about good idea Joy. Sure. <laughs> go ahead michael uh eternal father we offer you the body blood soul and the divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages sacrilegious indifference of ungrateful man by which his most offended and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart the immaculate heart of mary the forgiveness of sinners priests, and religious amen amen, amen. Um, Thanks, Michael. Maybe we can all add that to our, you do the Anima Christi. Uh, I used to do that reparation prayer. I got out of the habit of it. So this is good yeah. to, to remind us. We've got, mm -hmm. yeah, we've got a lot in our arsenal. We just need to pull it out <laughs> of the, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. No. Very good. Thank you, Michael. Anybody else? Evan? Yes, darling. Actually, I do have a question. Um, do we pray the 15 mysteries? On the first Saturdays, do you pray the fit? You have she asked us to pray one of the mysteries and we meditate on the 15 mysteries, but you can also just meditate on one of the joyful mysteries or the sorrowful mysteries. You can do either or remember, it's 20 mysteries now, so mm. yeah. The important thing is to meditate okay. for 15 minutes on the rosary and then you pray yep. a rosary. If I pray five decades, you can pray okay. a whole rosary too if you'd like, but she asked us to pray for five. Okay. Actually, I do. I do. I I do have images. I will. We want to show you. I have Our Lady. Oh, your camera switched oh. to something else. Sorry. That's okay. okay. There this you is go. Our Lady Fatima. Nice. With the with the crown of thorns. Mm -hmm. And I have the secret heart. Oh, beautiful! Yes. yes. And this is blessed, and and this, and this is blessed by the secret heart. Been blessed. That's awesome. Of the secret heart monastery. There you go. That's beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good job, we Evan. Love them You're both. Covered. We love them both. <laughs> You're covered. That's blessing your home. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he wants his image. He said it with the sacred heart, and he yeah. just said it yeah. with the divine mercy. Mm -hmm. He said it uh, with Our Lady of America that that uh, there yes. she has to have the uh, Holy Family. If you had the, the Holy Family, you know, the mm -hmm. Holy Family in your home, you'll be mm -hmm. protected. I liked on the first Friday one of those those uh, promises. There are twelve promises, but the um, <clears throat> peace in your homes. Mm -hmm. hey. Oh, that, that's what I need. Well, that was that's a you know all of them great. You know, of course we want the sacraments, but uh, and. Blessing our undertakings, the lukewarm will become fervent. I mean, awesome. So just the Lord's just ready to dole it all out. We just need to. Yeah, I have a logo too. And I know you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Peace good. in your homes is a big one. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Peace in your homes. Hey, I mean, this is our lady of America Rosary. Oh, beautiful. Oh, like nice. That. Hang on. Let me get. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold that up there. Yeah. Oh, oh, very nice. Red, white, nice blue. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. The United States of America. Nice. There is, there, they, we, I had her on when we were playing the the, the, session, the intercession prayer. Ah. Oh, hang on. Anyway, Greg and I went down there last yeah. year. Oh, to I Indiana love that. To, yeah, we were there last she's year. She's illuminated. Well. Yeah, she's shiny. <laughs> well, that was that's the computer. Yeah. <laughs> And Greg, when you were saying that, you know, if you miss, uh, what was it? If you miss uh, a Sunday, you can. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a quote um, from, um, I think it's important. And 
our Lord said, this is Susia, uh, the practice of this devotion, this is from our Lord, the practice of this devotion will be equally acceptable on the Sunday following the first Saturday when my priests for a just cause allow the festival. So that's be you know, you miss a Saturday because you're sick or you know, something comes up. Mm -hmm. Just ask your priest, hey, miss, can I go and next Sunday? You know, you can still apply. All right, as I said, our Lord always makes so many. You, you know that Joan Jay with Faith Faustina, pray the stations of the cross. And I love that. And if you don't have time, just pray, you know, even if you just have a moment to just remember me, right? Yeah. Sorry. yeah. So our Lord, yeah. he just mm -hmm. wants us, he just wants us to have him in his heart constantly, carrying us, mm -hmm. carrying him with us, whatever we do. Even and, just for a moment, I mean, he makes it so easy for us. And it He's makes so me right. think it, it dovetails into what he told St. Faustina. I do not uh, reward for the success of a work, but for the effort put into it, you know. And sometimes if we're right. if we're doing devotional things and we get so upset if we miss a day of the novena or, or something like that, yeah. you know, we have the intention. And that's what Jesus looks at, you know, as, as long as mm -hmm. we're, you know, giving it our best, so to speak. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. Anybody else? I just wanted to say thank you. I oh. just received this in the mail. Oh, oh, God. God. Very good. <laughs> thank you. Hold I'm so excited to go through this. It's beautiful. I love how it's laid out. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just the photographs of the actual panels, really, exactly like the panels. So. You'll just love them if you read a couple a day or a few a week or whatever you're able to. You'll just be able to even meditate on them and, and gather so much. So there were um, 351 so far, correct? But you told us there were 136 that have been approved. It, it, did I right. understand that? Well, that is because that's the pages. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's 100. Yeah. It's 136 that have been approved, right? And some of those in the book have, again, two or three panels per Eucharistic miracle. There's also maps in the book as well. Uh, so they have the different countries, and then each country will have a map before it gives all the Eucharistic miracles in that country in the book. And it'll actually have it, you know, uh, just the different cities that the Eucharistic miracles are in. So yeah. there's different actually to the Eucharistic miracle exhibit than just the Eucharist miracles themselves. They have the maps, they have what is the Eucharistic miracle, they have the panel on Blessed Carlo. So there's more to it than just um, the Eucharistic miracles in the book. I'm glad you got the book though, because it's a great tool for evangelization um, to share with other people. You know that when our Lord leads you, it's really you know not just in, in strengthen your own faith, but you can help others with it. You know that's what's so powerful about it too. Mm -hmm. But thanks for getting that. Thanks for getting that. I, I want that in every home. It needs to be in every home. I think mm -hmm. it's so important. That's the source of some of our faith, right? Yes. Amen. It's beautiful. The book is beautiful. It really it's, is. It's very high I'm quality. So happy. I'm so excited to go go through it. Thank you. Glad you got it, Mary Kay. I'm looking forward to getting them. Greg had said, he goes, you should, I, I didn't know if they published them, but he said, no, you should get it. We're looking forward. I'm going to look to to have them. We should have them on our site too. And I'm thinking, I want to give them away all my siblings for Christmas, something like that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Here, read this. Share the good news. <laughs> there, there, there she is, Joan again. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes again. There she goes again. <laughs> That's my Tony. <laughs> I'm sure a lot That's of you can Tony. relate. So anyway. We uh, can... Hey, Greg. Um, yes? I, I want that book too. By mail. I'm sorry. I... He wants the book. You want the book by mail? Okay. Yeah. Well, oh. we, we would love to send it you to just, you. You can, just order, you can just order it online. Okay. Yeah, it's right on, on our website. Okay. You maybe send them that link, David. Yeah, I'll send you the link, Evan. Okay, okay thank you. All right. 
Okay, everyone, with that, we are going to say good night on this Saturday yes. evening. And uh, Greg and um, Sharon, we'll see you tomorrow. Have, yes. a, have a blessed Sunday uh, morning, everybody, mm -hmm. and afternoon. Stay safe and uh, offer something mm -hmm. up tonight. Make an act of reparation. Just mm -hmm. doesn't have to be anything big, just something mm -hmm. small. And I ask to offer that the, the acts of reparation, particularly for our priests. Oh, one comment we talked mm -hmm. yesterday about the Marian movement of priests and mm -hmm. having that uh, cynical online cynical on Wednesdays, the 24th. I need to talk to Eloise, but I forgot that is discerning with some people from our um, on mm -hmm. our board and uh, that have been in the, the movement with us. We're thinking we should do it on Thursday. And okay. why Thursday? Oh, Fawn's making a face. Um, <laughs> on yeah. a Thursday, because this is the day to make reparation, and it's a day of praying the rosary for our priests. Priest, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and um, yeah. Sister Anna Lee talked about the importance of, of, of the Thursdays, and we just thought it made sense, especially praying for our priests on Thursdays. So that's that's kind of what we're thinking. So just wanted to... That's great. We if you do that, John, let, let Miriam know that she would like that. You know, if you if you do that on Thursdays mm -hmm. and that moves forward, let let her know. That would be great. Yeah. She'd be really excited about that. Yeah. You make our Lord so happy. Praise be Jesus. And we're thinking that it would be at eight o'clock Eastern. We're gonna make it a little bit later for people. Eight o'clock Eastern, seven central. And West Coast people can tune in at five. So we're going to, and we will, uh, we will record it. We'll just continue to play. And you know what? We're also open because we have a couple of people that have said that they would help uh, facilitate. We could do more than one. We can have one on the last Thursday of the month and maybe one on the, you know, on Wednesdays or other times. So we'll just see how, what works for people and who can make a commitment um that that wants to do it so we're here just to help everybody join together in prayer okie dokie how's that sound oh, sounds great <laughs> thank you dave and joe thank you dave all right y'all thank, 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 thank you great job right. everybody god bless god, god bless, bless you, you. Yeah, have bless a great you night. enjoy your night, night. <laughs> thank, you. Night. Thank, you. Night. thank you